Tonight we are making a padded cover for the extra cycle snap deck. What we're going to do is we're going to take a uh, closed cell foam sleeping pad like so, uh, which could be purchased rather inexpensively at a general sporting goods store. And uh, we are going to trace it, uh, trace the snap deck onto the uh, to the closed cell foam and then we'll sew up a cover for it. All right, we're gonna trace two of these out of the closed cell foam um, so that we can glue them together and stack them so it's, uh, it's about an inch thick. We've got a couple different tools that we could use. Um, straight up razor blade, uh, a brand new one would probably work great. Um, some sort of a utility knife or a box knife would probably work pretty good. Or if you have uh, a rotary cutter, um, a rotary cutter would probably work pretty good as well. For the long straight cut, I'm going to just use a straight edge. And I've got uh, just a razor blade in my hand, which is very nice. It's cutting like butter. to glue using barge all-purpose cement okay it's a contact glue uh, contact adhesive um, which you can pick up uh, all over the place okay so I have my respirator on just to be safe and I have my barge cement in a large glue pot with a brush so here we go I used just like a tiny fraction of that on the outside edge only. Okay, so we have let the glue set up for maybe five to ten minutes. Um, and we already said don't touch it, but I'm going to touch a little bit. It's just slightly tacky to the touch. Here we go. Remember, we only get like one shot of this, so... I'm going to use uh, this tan, and I'm going to use this uh, brown for the top and the bottom. It'll be reversible, you can flip it over. For the sidewalls on mine, I'm going to go orange, get a little flare going. Got to show off your flare, you know. So uh, what we're going to do is use the snap deck again uh, as our pattern and we're going to add an extra quarter of an inch all the way around for uh, seam allowance. So here we go. Here's my long ruler. I'm just going to eyeball the quarter inch seam allowance. Okay, so I'm going to use my rotary cutter here. There we go. There's our, there's one side with the seam allowance. Um, I just need to cut out the second one and then we'll do the side walls. We measured our foam after we stuck it together. Uh, it measured out at three quarters of an inch. 
So we're going to do uh, three quarters of an inch plus a uh, quarter inch seam allowance on each side. That's going to put us at an inch and a quarter. All right. So we have our marks that we made where we want the elastic pieces to go. So what I have done is I just transferred those marks over to the top side so that I know exactly where I'm going to sew the elastic onto. Sitting at an industrial uh, needle feed sewing machine and uh, you don't need any industrial sewing machine to do this project. Um, you could probably do it on any home sewing machine. Uh, if you choose to do it with some thicker materials, you might want to um, get what's called a denim needle, a heavier duty needle. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to sit down here and base these on, which basically means just to kind of sew them on carefully. A couple ways to kind of finish this and Jeff decided to make his cover so that the foam was permanently sewn in so you can see there's kind of a, a, a top stitch right here. We're actually going to install a zipper uh, on the front end of this thing so that we can unzip it, slide the, uh, the foam in, zip it back up and I cut a zipper and then I took some of this long sidewall and I actually kind of split it right down the middle so that I can basically sew it on each side of the zipper. All right, so I've got my two markings. They correlate up to each other. So what you want to do is you want to do uh, face fabric to face fabric, or you know the exterior fabric to exterior fabric, and you want to line line up those two markings like that. And uh, I'm gonna actually just start sewing from here around towards the back. The zipper slider is kind of going to get in the way, so I'm going to lift the foot up right here, slid that back, got it out of the way. Here we go. These corners are very tricky. Here we go. We got we got it all sewn together, zippers in. Um, let's see how it works. And I and I went and got our foam pad. It smells like glue. Ooh, it smells really good. Not really actually. Um, so yeah. So first we're gonna take our pad cover, turn it inside out like this. have 
the cover done, the pad is in there, we've attached it to the snap deck. Uh, go ahead and just reattach the snap deck to the V-racks and you're ready to go. Jeff, let's go for a ride. Right on! Adios! Woohoo! Woohoo!